Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dana and today I have for you a white chocolate cake. As you can see it looks amazing and it was absolutely delicious. My family loved it. So I'm gonna show you step by step how uh, to make it yourself as well. I'm gonna start uh, with the filling for which I'm gonna need 45 grams of cornstarch, 150 grams of sugar, 500 milliliters of milk, 150 grams of white chocolate, 400 grams of whipping cream, and one teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. In a tiny pot I'm gonna mix sugar, cornstarch, and also add cold uh, milk, put this on the stove on low fire, mix uh, continually with a whisk until it's getting thickened up like this and now because I want to cool it down faster I'm gonna pour it in a, in a bowl and I'm gonna add chocolate over while it's hot and this will help the chocolate to, to melt just leave it a few minutes and you're gonna see that the chocolate uh, melted add vanilla extract and uh, now let it cool down completely uh, you can actually uh, put it in the in the fridge to cool down. Make sure to cover it with cling film. Touch with um, with it uh, the filling underneath so you don't have that skin forming. When it cools down, you can whip up the the cream. and mix in the cold chocolate uh, filling that whipped uh, cream add it gradually do not over mix but make sure that everything is, uh, is nice and combined and we're gonna have a yummy yummy uh, filling super light and absolutely um, delicious I mean white chocolate it's good so yeah this combination makes it awesome now let's make the sponge cake and for this i'm gonna use four eggs four tablespoons of sugar four tablespoons of flour two tablespoons of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt and one teaspoon of uh, rum extract. I'm combining dry ingredients, flour, baking powder and cocoa powder. Separate the eggs. Uh, the whites I'm, uh, um, I'm gonna put them in the mixing bowl add over egg whites a pinch of salt and start um, mixing them at low speed in the beginning increase the speed uh, after a minute or so and when they got whiter, increase in volume, add the sugar gradually and continue to mix until you're gonna have a nice, stiff, shiny, stable meringue. Add the yolks and mix them in. I added rum extract and uh, 
incorporate the dry ingredients it's gonna be a really nice and soft sponge cake considering the fact that we don't have that much uh, dry ingredients to weigh down so this is the sponge cake put it in um, in your uh, cake tin I have this metal frame on a silicone um, um, mat I'm gonna bake in my oven at 170 celsius in the middle of the oven I have an electric convection oven so with a fan and um, usually I don't preheat the oven or I preheat it just five minutes before I put this uh, to bake I bake it for 15 minutes and it looks like this run with a knife on the edges and let it cool down and uh, you will be able to remove the, the metal frame if you don't have this use baking paper in, uh, in uh, your cake tin and uh, will be perfect when cooled down slice it in half horizontally you can use a knife I have this uh, tool special for, for cakes with a really thin wire the cake is really really soft so make sure not to break it take one slice I do it on a chopping board I have my plate here on which I'm gonna assemble the cake and I'm gonna use a few spoons of chocolate spread we have this type here and as you can see it's black and white you can use just uh, black if you find or if you don't have uh, these available use Nutella just a few spoons uh, spread it lightly um, on, uh, on your uh, sponge cake on the first uh, slice this will, uh, will uh, give uh, um, another uh, layer of yumminess to this, uh, to this cake I put the frame back on around the sponge cake we'll keep the cake nice in one place put half of the filling that we made and level it with a spatula Do the same thing with a chocolate spread on the other slice of the cake all over level it in a thin layer and lay it down over the filling on top of the cake and on top of this the rest of the filling lay down and level it the cake will need to stay in the fridge until the next day to set and the sponge cake to hydrate so you will be able to slice the cake nicely but uh, we'll give the chance to this filling to, to set uh, so you can slice it nicely you can decorate it the way you want you can just sprinkle some uh, grated chocolate or cocoa powder on top um, yeah I take my time to level this and uh, I will have it in the fridge and I'm gonna make just a tiny bit of glaze for which I'm gonna need uh, 50 grams of uh, chocolate and one teaspoon of oil I'm melting this on uh, water bath so underneath in that tiny pot I have uh, hot water 
add now the oil and I'm gonna let the chocolate melt and combine with the oil looks like this super shiny and I have it in a piping bag I cut a tiny tiny corner at the end and just uh, made a cute design on top of the cake Thank you so much for watching i hope you're gonna give it a try and let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts and if you have any requests for any type of cake uh, let me know as well have an awesome day don't forget to um, find reasons to smile and i'm gonna see you here next time with another recipe bye